The Night Before Christmas by Clement Clark Bourne. Read by Mr. Don. <laughs> Sorry, this is a pop up book which does you no good in the back row. <laughs> For the people in the front row, you can see the wonderful illustrations. It's so wonderful. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter that I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash and tore open the shutters and threw open the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wandering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and a tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it could only be St. Nick. See the slide? <laughs> Even more miniature than the people in the back. It's a beautiful display. I wish you could all see it. <laughs> More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled, and he shouted, and he called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner, and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they met with an obstacle, mounted to the sky, so up to the housetops the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, St. Nichols too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot. It's so weird, I have an aunt who did the same thing. <laughs> and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his sack. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. Now, for you people in the front row, I have dimples, and they're very merry, but my eyes don't twinkle. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry, his droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. And if any of you make a white beard joke, mm -hmm. the stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke had encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. With a wink of his eye and a twist of his head, he soon gave me to know that I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, and then turned with a jerk and laying, sorry, and then laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his teens he gave a whistle. And away they all flew like the down of a thistle. 
But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night.